Well, I, I must say I was very impressed with Mappen Sula. I thought it uh, uh, it worked terribly well, and and it caught the, the the kind of image of what was actually some of those news bulletins that we were talking about earlier. The question I think that I would ask is is this that. Um, will Oliver Schmitz be allowed to make another film? And I think probably the answer is with great difficulty. Maybe not. Um, so what I think you see in South Africa is the uh, emergence of young filmmakers who, once their colors are shown, suddenly have the same clamps applied to them that were applied to me. And, uh, you know, a, a career, a South African film career, is in a way then stunted because you can't go on and develop. And I think this is one, of, I don't say this will happen in Oliver Smith's case because maybe there will be other circumstances that can subvent that. But I think that this is one of the things that I have seen happen. And I think, in a sense, uh, is what happened in my case. I found that there was no way in which I could carry on making films in South Africa. And I think that other filmmakers may find that problem as well. And so I think it's a kind of parallel to what happens in politics. Black politicians emerge, uh, are recognized, and then blocked by imprisonment or something. The state in South Africa is very good at finding ways of blocking the development of work. <laughs>